this is the fifth time I've recorded this video. Really? Yes. This is the fifth time I've tried to record this video recapping the fight. So what did you think of the fights? So I missed the first fight, admittedly, I was a bit late. Um, oh, you were late? <laughs> Oh yeah, right? It took like an hour to click the tickets, but anyway. So I don't know if a lot of you guys know about fighting, but whatever game plan you think you have going into the ring, yeah. it goes out the window. Because when you're under those bright lights and the yeah. stress of like a fighting situation, yeah. everything that you were trained to do, you just don't yeah. do it. Big shout out to Sam Hyde, the candy man. Congratulations on the win. He beat me. <laughs> you saw it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he beat me. The candy man. <laughs> So he beat me in the third yeah. round by TKO. Congratulations, like he deserves it. He went in there with a good game plan yeah, and he yeah, executed. Yeah. So I watched this episode of Impulsive with Logan Paul. Mike Malek on Impulsive was saying, cause I threw only right hands like the whole time. Oh, yeah. And Logan Paul in his fight against KSI only threw left hands the whole time. Oh. He said, if we can find me together with him, we'd yeah, have the yeah, ultimate yeah. fighter. Yeah. So I had potential to be the ultimate Is fighter. That the Thompson dude was the reverse you. Like, like all he threw was right hands. Yeah. Like it's if like, you combine like, your left jab and his right hook, you got a real you've fight. You got one. You've got the next salt pop. Yeah. <laughs> but the crazy thing was, so Sam like sold this fight from beginning to end because we did these press conferences, right? And he was putting on this whole Irish thing. Talk to me about this fight, Sam, and what you're gonna do to this man on Saturday night. Oh, I don't Have you heard much Irish folklore? I haven't heard a lot, but I'm sure you're gonna tell me. Should I crunch him now, or should I savor every lick? I could punish him slowly, or dip and sprinkle him quick. First, I'll gingerly ginger snap his candy-coated pretzel arms in half. Then I'll buttery pop gumdrop smack him to the chocolatey canvas with a slap. In the marshmallow ring, the ropes look like Twizzlers. Body shots to my jelly belly merely give me a snicker. <laughs> Cookie cups and candy canes, sugar plums galore. The candy man with sour patch fists to knock you clean to the floor. I'll pumpkin crumb cream crunch punch his powder donut head until the juniper belly jelly jam comes tumble bumble squeezing out of his neck. He was just talking about like the best Irishman for 2000 years. And then in the weigh-ins, he literally got in my face in the weigh-ins and came up to me. And I did not expect this at all. And was like, I'm wet like a dolphin, Thompson. <laughs> I'm dripping, Thompson. I'm dripping. Andy. I'm a dolphin. I'm wet. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh! Oh, I'm dripping! What is what happening? What do I say to that? But it was like the most awesome thing ever because he like actually, he really built the hype for the fight, which I think yeah, was awesome. Yeah, so he yeah, really yeah. sold it. So he thank you, Sam, for that, day, yeah. for literally selling the fight. And then because we did go three rounds, I think we put on a good show for everybody. Yeah. I'm really grateful that it was with Sam. After yeah. all that, it was yeah, great. And yeah. what I'm hoping is when I get back to America, I'm gonna go out to Rhode Island, visit him, yeah. and maybe he'll, he'll give me some uh, Irish wisdom. <laughs> It was crazy from the whole like thing, like landing in London, doing fight week, because we had the press conference. We're heading to the conference thing. What are we doing now? The presser. We're a presser. We're going to the presser. We're going to press her in the presser. <laughs> Do you have a game plan for the, the presser? Nah, I'm just going to wing it. We're going to go in there cold, come out hot. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like it meant something. Dude, I really wish I had like just six more months of like solid training, I feel like. And like six more months of sparring, like three times a week, I'd feel like on top of the world right now. Cause I feel like I'm still just like learning, learning on the job. It's like work experience week, you know? A tall dude, you're a tall dude. Yeah, I'm feeling good, it's gonna be fun. It was crazy, that's a surreal experience, you know, guys? I feel like that's some shit you'll never experience. That you should never experience, playing violin. Being in a press conference for him. Bro, it's wild. It makes no sense at all. What was the this whole thing makes no sense. We went into the O2 Arena before anybody was there and just seeing the, the magnitude of the place. I don't know if you're seeing this, but the magnitude of this place. Are you seeing all the seats? 18,000 people. This is the ring. This is the first time I'm going to be going in the ring. I'm getting goosebumps. Look, I'm going to touch it now. I'm going to touch it. Oh, shit. Damn. This is where it's going to go down. Right here. You gotta feel it. Yo, this is insane, dude. Yo, the fucking runway? It is finally here. Finally. All the days. I don't feel nervous at all. What else can you do? You're gonna do it. 
Yeah. So what's, why would you even? It's not going to change anything. You're going to have to do it regardless. So you may as well be relaxed. It's, it doesn't change anything. The arena's insane. Did you go in? We haven't seen it. Oh wait, you can see. Is it only stacked the whole way up? Yes, bro. It's 100% sold out. Yeah. The top, the bottom, the middle, the fucking <laughs> entrance. Everything is sold out. <laughs> It's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a lovely night. Series one. Series one. You see that? I'm on the very fucking first card. Series one. Number one. It's nuts, dude. Look at this. Look at that. It's crazy. Be ready for whatever. Don't be surprised by anything. Be hurt you or you get tired right away or you feel like you can't go on or you know, whatever. You, you know you can because you already did the work. It's inside you, you've got to find it. I'll see you boys after. I'll be out there if you want me. If you need anything, just give me a yell. I'll be there. Is that Subway meal deal? Subway meal deal? Alright, what do you want? And then the actual fight itself, walking down that runway, yeah. I had my song playing. Yeah. You can always stream it on Spotify right now. Big shout out to Wildcard back in LA, to my coach Pepe Riley and George, my strength and conditioning coach. He's a beast. But we only had eight weeks to train. Yeah. So my goal is now put six months into the gym, yeah. drop 30 pounds, work on my strength and conditioning, work on my boxing skill, do a lot more sparring, and then do this whole thing again. Run it back. He's wearing like a ball in a china shop. Hell yeah. Just like <laughs> I wanted to finish it. I wanted to finish it. Like I said, like Logan Paul threw nothing but left hands. Like, I'm like, I want to throw no, nothing but right. It didn't really feel like there was a game plan. The, I that's why I said it went yeah, out the window. Like, my game yeah. plan went out the window. but. I had so much fun doing yeah. it, and it was one of the best experiences of my life. Yeah. One of the most rewarding things I've ever done. So hopefully all you at home that watched it, that supported the event, hopefully you're all excited to watch me fight again. If you're not, I'm sorry, because I'm gonna <laughs> do it again. And like I said, like massive shout out to Sam Hyde. I couldn't have lost to a better person. It was amazing. Yeah. Anyway guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'm gonna be posting a lot more boxing content and other related content leading up yeah. to the next fight. Yeah. And a dating show, I have a dating show. Yeah. Maybe you could be on it. If you want to be a part of that, go check out my dating show episodes. But yeah, subscribe, like this video, comment. What do you want to see? Like, what did you think of the fight? Comment down below. I'm going to read all the comments. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Catch you later. What was it like seeing him on stage? It was terrifying. Candy man. It's a big dude. No candy bags though. No candy. None. Not once have I ever seen him with candy. Drink Prime. <laughs>